Hello and welcome back to Heartwork Creations. In this video, I will be showing you how I created this all matte fall look. I'll be starting off with a clean, washed, moisturized face and you know I gotta set my mood right with a vanilla pumpkin marshmallow candle from Bath & Body Works. And here I'm going to start by prepping my skin. I'm putting on some Mario Badescu rose water spray. And then I'll be applying some primer, which is the Smashbox Light Photo Ready Primer. And for my brows, I'll be using the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil. So I'll use the spoolie side to kind of brush my brows up and then start just shading in the areas where I need to fill and I'm just lightly drawing in the hairs I'm using a light hand because I want my brows to look soft and natural and then I just use the spoolie side once in a while to kind of soften up any harsh strokes To clean up my brows, I'll be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and a small concealer brush. So I like to put a little bit on my hand and then dip my brush in and then just clean up right underneath my brow and then just a little bit on the outer tail of it. To prime my eyes, I'm going to be using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I mixed it with a little bit of the same concealer to kind of soften it up so it's not so dry on the eyes. And I just apply that with a duo fiber brush by Morphe and just blend it out. And I also apply some on my lower lash line as well because I'll be applying eyeshadow there so it helps for it to stay on longer. And to set the primer, I'll apply some loose translucent powder and then go in with the eyeshadow. I'll be using the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill collab palettes in Armed and Gorgeous and Ring the Alarm. So here I'm applying the mustard shade. It is called... It's called Access. And I'm just applying that with a big fluffy blending brush. I'll name all the brushes down below in the description box. And I'm just staying right in the crease and kind of blending upwards and just building the color. And next for the outer corner I'll be applying the shade Mugshot and I'm just patting it on the outer corner with a smaller blending brush and lightly blending upwards. This um, dabbing motion helps to really pack on the color and get a nice pigment payoff. And for my lower lash line, I'll be using the Morphe 35M palette, the Boss Mood palette. And I'm going to be mixing these two red shades and then applying that right underneath my lash line and on my waterline as well. And for the lid color, I'll dip into this light brown kind of camel shade and apply that right onto my eyelid with this fluffy blending brush and I'm just kind of dusting it on and using patting motions as well to pack on the color. For my lashes, I'll be applying Scandalize Mascara by Rimmel, just a light coat. And for the false lashes, I will be using Ardell number 113 lashes, they're the double up addition and then I also kind of added some individuals on top to give it a little more of a 
outer flared look. And I just place them right in the center of my eye and drag them outwards and inwards till I have them at the place where I want them and just push them towards my lash line. For my eyeliner, I'll be using MAC Fluid Line in Dip Down. This is a brown eyeliner, so I thought it would look cute with this fall look. It's a little bit of a softer look compared to black eyeliner. And I really dig it. I feel like it makes the lashes really stand out and it doesn't darken up the eyes too much. And you already know I'm using my Simply Simmons Spotter Brush from Michaels. This brush is bomb. If you haven't already tried it, I suggest you go get it right now because it'll change your eyeliner game. And now that the eyes are complete, I'll be moving on to the face makeup. And I'll be using Fenty Beauty Foundation. I love this foundation because it is a little mattifying. And since I tend to get oily, it keeps my oil controlled. And I don't have to use so much powder to set it. So I apply it with a dual fiber brush first and then later on I kind of set it in with my sponge and next for concealer I'll be bringing back my Tarte Shape Tape and I'll apply that right underneath my eyes in the center of my forehead down the bridge of my nose underneath my cheekbones and a little bit on my chin and applying it like this acts as a reverse contour so you don't have to use like a cream concealer to contour or anything like that because this kind of does the job for you and gives your face some more dimension. To blend that out I use a damp sponge. This is the Real Techniques sponge and I got mine at Target and I love it. It works so good. I had gotten used to using brushes to blend out my concealer but I feel like using this sponge technique helps make this process go by so much quicker. Then to set my makeup, I'll be using the same Airspun Translucent Powder with a powder puff. And I like to apply a little more underneath the eyes to keep the mascara from running and transferring under my eyes and then I just lightly press around the rest of my face. I don't use too much powder. Once I'm done setting my face, I just touch up my under eyes with that same eyeshadow brush. And then for my contour, I'll be using Hoola Bronzer by Benefit and I'll apply that right onto my cheekbones, around my forehead, a little bit on my jawline and just a touch on my nose to give my face a little more dimension and color and I normally don't wear blush so I like to use this bronzer as a blush as well and you want to bring it down to the neck too And now that my face makeup is complete, I'll add the finishing touches, which is of course some mascara on my bottom lashes, and then just a little bit on the top lashes to blend them in with my natural lashes. To set my face, I'll use the MAC Fix Plus Spray, put that all over. And then for my lips, I will be using the new Suavecita Brick House Collection Lip Grip in the shade Foxy. And this is a beautiful orange rusty shade. It is perfect for the fall. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that without a lip liner because this applicator makes it easy to achieve a nice precise application. 
and that's it that concludes this video i hope you enjoyed watching me create this all matte fall look hopefully it inspires you to recreate it too and let me know what you thought down below give me some feedback make sure to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video Yeah.